Hey YouTube, I've got something really exciting to share with you. This is the Bugera, Bugera Power Soak Attenuator, rated at 100 watts. I'm going to have a little fun with you today and just turn something up and crank it. I'm going to do some jamming and we'll plug this in and turn it down to bedroom levels. This is a really exciting product. It'll turn whatever high-powered amp you have into the quietest practice amp you have ever dreamed of without sucking the tone out of the fun. All right? So, stand by. Don't give me any grief about the playing. And uh, we'll see you in a bit. Standby on my amp. I'm going to plug the attenuator into the circuit and then I'm going to hit that loop again. And the attenuator is full on right now and I'm going to turn it down while the loop's cranking. All right. Nothing's changed. Mike's still in the same place. So, this is with the attenuator in. Here goes the loop. <laughs> as good as it was before. And that's with it at zero, and the amp still cranked at the same level it was before. no noise all right don't give me any grief about the playing it's a work in progress i'm turning my esp into a uh, metal machine and i just put a new set of c standard strings on it 60 to 10 uh, intonated it just yesterday i'm digging it although that 60 e string is a bit big i might go 54 to 12 across the board but anyway fun video to do and i thought it illustrated this cool thing, the Bugera Power Soak Attenuator. It's rated up to 100 watts. It's the coolest 100 bucks I've ever spent. It will allow me to play my EVH, my Eggnator, 
your Marshall 40, Hot Rod Deluxe, Mark Tremonti 15, at seriously bedroom levels, whisper levels, where you have more deficiency from the speaker than you do from the tubes. This allows you to play whatever head you want at the sweet spot and get it down to absolutely whisper quiet levels. Coolest thing in the world. No more having to buy a practice amp that sounds like junk anyway. You can play whatever you want to play at whatever level you want to play it. It's built really well, super solid, full of high-powered resistors inside and some inductors. Super easy to use. On the back, you have 4-ohm, 8-ohm, 16-ohm options. You do have to match the head to the speaker load. So if you're running a 16-ohm cab, you have to have your amp set to 16 ohms. Then you would plug your head into here, 16 ohms, and your speaker wire would go right there to your cabinet, and you're done. If you have a 4-ohm head, bam, this goes into your cab, I mean your head, 4 ohms are selected, speaker out right there to your cab, you're done. It also has a mic line out and a line line out. Although I hear that this balanced line out sounds like junk, but I wouldn't know. I'm old school and mic most everything. I do. So, and tone being what it is, being so subjective, you might find that you really like the line out sound. Who knows? But super exciting, super fun video to make because I was able to just really crank it up. I couldn't figure out how to illustrate this simply without it kind of seeming complicated. So I just did what I did and I think it illustrates pretty well what this will do for you. The amp in the room without this was cranked pretty, uh, really loud, hurt my ears. I've got a little ringing going on. Uh, I'm sure the neighbors all heard it and wondered what in the world is going on over there. But you can plug this in, get any loud amp down to bedroom levels. It's great. Phil McKnight had uh, this compared to a $600 attenuator that he did, and I thought this sounded a lot better. All right, I think it's very true to tone. You may want to notch your presence up and the mids up just a hair, but for the most part, it's what you hear out of the amp. All right, so super exciting, super fun, 100 bucks, sweet water, free shipping, free tax, well, no tax, free shipping, really well made. I recommend you get one today. All right, this is the old guy jamming, and I'm out of here. Catch you later.